dirty. So, uh, Pete went along all the seams with tar, splooged it in any of the areas that it needed, and painted it over with bottom paint. Could drill a hole in my yesterday. Head, drill a hammer, my little hammer, you hold it up there and drill a hole. No. I, just plug it with I can do that. I'll try the lead at least. I mean, it's not. A hammer to work, and I just put a plug in it. No, nah, I don't want to do that. You could hold that hammer with the hand ring like that. I don't want to do that. Let's try this real quick, and then I don't know. I might be able to drill a hole in that. Really? It's lead, though. Anyways, um, today we are putting in. Uh, we had two rivets that were messed up in the bilge. Uh, we knew about them last year. Two out of how many thousands? I know. Uh, oh, and oh. wow, she swelled up pretty good. Nice. Um, two rivets, uh, so we are going to replace them. And the two rivets are actually right where the water tanks were. So it's a good thing we pulled the water tanks. And it's a good thing that the water tanks are removable in Norna. That's pretty nice. So we are replacing those two. We didn't pull the old ones out. Because um, they're in there. They're just looking a little funky. So we're just going to add a couple extra. Pete's drilling holes in the boat. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> and now we're going to make a backer bar thingy for... When Pete's hammering over, peening right. over the... Dip these in seam cement or in tar? There's seam cement there. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Pete is making the backing hammery thingy, which is a piece of lead <laughs> with a whatever stuck in. That Voila. fits perfectly in the hole, Courtney. Okay. So there's one over there. And then, um, there's a, th I'm not going to be able to film this. Set it over there. Yeah, you but to film it. the other side, uh, yeah. we need a film crew in order to do this. <laughs> so you guys are just going to have to not get the whole full effect of how to put a, a whatchamadigit in. What's it called? You guys don't even get to know what it's called. So the only side I can show you is the side I'm doing, but you can't really see the other side. I think last time we replaced a plank, you might s have seen the other side. We had replaced a plank on Norna a few years ago. And uh, I actually did the peening over of that plank. Um, or at least putting, I think, putting the rove on. I don't know, I can't remember, but putting the rove on and snipping it. And then you actually hold a backer. I tried to hold that piece of lead, but it was way too heavy <laughs> and a real weird angle and everything. So basically just put that on there like that. Then take this. And tap it down. And, try and, and give it a good tap. Yeah, make sure you hold it straight, you know. Mm -hmm. Whap, whap. And then once you get it down to the bottom, go ahead and, you know, just make it tight. You don't have to keep beating on it. Mm -hmm. Just make it tight because then we'll cut that off and then we'll peen that and that'll pull it tight again. Mm -hmm. So for now, see this one was kind of bad mm -hmm. and that one was kind of bad, the rove. So I put one there and there. Mm -hmm. And this one's okay and that one's okay and that one's okay. But I don't know if we can get a new one on here. Probably not. But I think they're still holding some up. There's just no rove left on that one. And look at all the ones around it are, are, are fine. I mean, they're a little, a little green, a little bit of corrosion going on. I don't quite understand why, but it could have been from the water tanks being in here and and everything. Mm -hmm. But I mean, all in all, they're still they're still kind of green. Mm -hmm. But like anyway. these, which are you know, seem perfect. Anyways, I have to watch this video. Yeah. So Pete is uh, backing up what I'm going to be. Huh? Yeah. Pete's going to be backing up what I am.
put it in the road here. There it goes. What? You keep talking. You got it all the way through the road? Yeah. That's good, okay. All right. You ready for the next one? Okay. Just gonna take a break. It is hard because it's a hard angle. You have to like really hold that heavy piece of. Yeah, you have to like really hold it. And and the reason why we're using lead is because the beating of the hammer. Yeah. You ready? Okay. You got it on. This one I'm going to take a little bit of time with just because it's, you know, already been started cutting. There it goes. Okay. Now you got to just cut the ends off. And then you take this ball peen and hammer all around it until it mushrooms out to hold the rivet. And, yeah, as I was saying, you're, like, in a weird position trying to hold it, and it's a heavy piece of lead because when you're hammering, it bounces. So to have something heavy, you know, it'll take the absorption of that bounce and help to, you know, really get the job done right. I actually have these snips. They kind of look like that, and, they, and they'll snip the, uh, the copper. But right now we're, ha we're having to resort to side cutters, which sucks. Oh, by the way, don't the bilges look nice? Pete went around and vacuumed up all the bilges again this year and oiled them again. I did that last year. So every year that we haul out, we'll vacuum the bilges out and oil them. So we'll be getting into maintenance things on Norna, which would be super cool to just finally get to these places that we've been wanting to get with Norna, where it's just maintaining instead of constantly having to keep up with rot. We can paint her every year, varnish her, and uh, just do our yearly sort of oiling and, and cleaning and not have to worry about being like, oh crap, this is rotten. Although we probably will still have that sort of thing, but at least for a little while we can not have that sort of thing. I went through the other day and uh, this switch was broken, so I fixed that switch. So now we have that for lighting. And then that light was so super bright and, and really hurt your eyes. It's one of these strip lights, which is nice because it is bright, but it also isn't nice because it hurts your eyes when you're on, on board. So I put this on here to sort of help with the uh, lighting on Norna. This one's nice and bright, which is good because you need light for, for your table. This one's kind of dim. So, anyways, there's that. I wouldn't mind having, I might, I had gotten some lights, which I lost one in the bilge somewhere. I gotta find it, I think it's in the back. But I'm gonna put like a, maybe a strip light under here too, so that way we got lighting underneath all this. We used to have one under there, didn't we? Yeah, but it got so wet and damaged from yeah. the boat leaking so bad. Now, hopefully, we don't have to worry about that as much. Well, it smells good in here, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> the last thing I want to do, and if I do get time this year, I might scuff down the interior and slap a coat of paint inside. That would be awesome to get some paint inside of her. Because we got a lot of marks, like X marks, where, <laughs> where some of the drips were. Pete's going to cut this with a cutoff wheel. We've resorted to cutoff yeah, wheels. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, a little excessive. The next phase. Oh, you did? He held it up there with his head, he said. <laughs> so the next phase of all of this is use a ball peen hammer. He said that's using your noggin. <laughs> um, and then you... Pretty much, he's going to back up it again, and I'm just going to peen around until it mushrooms down and starts tightening the rivet down. Let Are me know. Ready? Yeah, you ready? Nope. Okay.
agenda is to put some antifreeze in the engine since it leaked out. And uh, Pete poured some of the antifreeze into the engine and actually uh, the he pulled it into the reservoir thing or whatever, or to the water. Where'd you put the antifreeze at? In the uh, raw water thing? The sea filter. Yeah, the raw water filter. Hey, Courtney, you can pull this out and give it a little gas if you need to. And, it, and it actually sucked into the engine, so that was good. So we know that it's okay. It's real easy to do right now. See, look. Just pull out and okay. I tell you, just give it a little bit of okay. throttle. Yeah, I gotta turn I gotta turn the switch on back here. Watch your So I'm gonna start the engine and rev it up just a little bit. And Pete's gonna pour the antifreeze into the raw water filter. And I'm gonna run in the back and make sure that it's pumping antifreeze out. And and if I see it pumping if I see it pumping, I'll run back and shut the engine. Some of it was black sludge well, that pumped good. out and then it and then it turned pink. I waited for it to turn pink and then I ran back and shut it off. Okay, good. I poured all of it out, so that's all it sucked that whole thing in there. Okay, good. Alright, well that's all I wanted to do really was get antifreeze in the in the exhaust system. Mm hmm And that's why Did it water. suck at all? Oh yeah. But did, is there some that's still in the raw water strainer? Yeah. It'll only go down so far and then it's... Alright! Woo! Yeah. Pete is checking for drips. Where was it? Any drips? Well, it didn't run long enough to really tell. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to run it for a while. Really look at it. I don't smell any exhaust, that's for sure. I think the exhaust pipe's working really good. Yeah, the new one we put on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 